So let's go ahead and uh, take one more look at the, uh, the quotient rule here. I'm uh, specifically working on page 178, number 20. And as you can see, this function is f of u equals u over the quantity u squared plus 1. Now, our strategy up until now is to, be, is to use uh, u and v. And when they go ahead and they put um, a u as the independent variable, they're messing with our system. So rather than use u and v, I'm going to use uh, m and v. Uh, I hope that doesn't complicate things, but uh, in this case, the quotient rule would be v m prime minus m v prime over v squared. Okay. And so uh, this is assuming that m is on top in the numerator and v is on bottom. So I'm going to assign m to equal u, which is the independent variable, and v to equal u squared plus 1. Then our derivatives are uh, m prime equals 1 and v prime equals 2u. And now that we know those values, we can write the expression for the derivative using the quotient rule. So here we go. f prime of u is v times m prime, which is u squared plus 1 times 1. So that's just u squared plus 1. Minus m times v prime, which is just u times 2u. And then in the denominator, we have v squared. As I've mentioned before, I'm not going to bother expanding that product. So basically, I think you'll see that we have u squared plus 1 minus 2u squared over uh, u squared plus 1 squared. And finally, doing a little combining like terms in the numerator, I get 1 minus u squared over u squared plus 1 squared. And that is going to be our derivative. So hopefully this is uh, another example that's helped you uh, see the quotient rule in action. And as before, if you have other questions, please let me know. Have a good one.